the Holy War. It's the name given to the football rivalry between Utah and BYU. And as the name suggests, the thread that ties the two schools together is religion. As the two biggest schools in the state of Utah, both universities enroll many followers of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. About one-third of the students at the University of Utah are Mormon, while BYU is owned entirely by the church. The football rivalry between these schools takes on church versus state undertones. But that's not the only thing that makes the Holy War special. It's a showcase for the state of Utah and a long-running historical battle, the best moments of which we'll break down on this episode of Stadium Rivals. There's some disagreement on when this showdown actually began. Utah claims the first game was played in 1896 against Brigham Young Academy. BYU pegs the first game as occurring in 1922. Regardless of the start time, the Utes dominated the first 40 years of the Holy War. So we head to 1922, BYU's official start of the Holy War. Utah began its early run of dominance against BYU with a 49-0 win on October 14th of that year. From that point on, Utah was almost unstoppable, tallying an overall record of 41-8-4 heading into 1972 when BYU's greatest head coach came to change the program. The switch flipped with the hiring of Lavelle Edwards in 73. Although Edwards starred as a player at Utah State, it was his move to BYU that proved game-changing in this rivalry. Starting with the Cougars' 16-7 win that year, Edwards' pass-heavy offenses and focus on quarterback play, helped by the likes of Steve Young, Jim McMahon, and Ty Detmer, made BYU the class of the state. Coaching the team until the year 2000, Edwards led BYU to a 22-7 record over the Utes in his tenure. The indelible mark of the 1980 Holy War was Jim McMahon pointing at the scoreboard to respond to some hecklers from Utah. When the hecklers looked up at the end of the game, the score read 56-6. The 50-point margin of victory was the largest for either team in the rivalry. In 1984, BYU entered the Holy War sitting at 10-0, ranked number three in the AP poll. The Cougars overcame some early miscues to win 24-14. BYU finished that year 13-0, the only undefeated team in Division I college football. The final AP poll pushed them to number one, where they were declared national champions. Utah came into the 1988 game looking for its first win over BYU since 1978. On the back of QB Scott Mitchell, Utah jumped out to a 21-0 lead, eventually downing the Cougars by a score of 57-28. BYU would have revenge on their minds the following year. And that revenge came in the form of a drubbing. The final score was 70-31. Behind QB Ty Detmer, the Cougars scored eight TDs on their first eight drives before amassing 750 yards of total offense in the blowout win. The 101 total points scored is a Holy War record. With Ron McBride under the helm, Utah needed a 55-yard field goal from Chris Jurgensen to seal a 34-31 victory in 1993. The following year in 1994, Utah would win by an identical score, the first two of a three-year win streak. This was a heartbreaker from 1998. Down two, Utah drove the ball to the BYU 15-yard line with nine seconds left. Utah kicker Ryan Kaneshiro lined up for the game winner, and this happened. It is off the upright, he missed it! Oh, man! That 32-yard field goal bounced off the upright, preserving BYU's 26-24 victory. BYU announced that the 2000 season would be Lavelle Edwards last on the sideline. This one came down to the wire. With just over a minute left, QB Brandon Doman found Jonathan Pittman on 4th and 13 to extend a drive. Doman would finish it off with a 4-yard TD run with 23 seconds left, giving Edwards a 34-27 victory in his final game with the program. He didn't stay at Utah for long, but Urban Meyer has a place in Holy War history. Led by QB Alex Smith, the Utes sat at 10-0 entering the 2004 game. And they ended up rolling BYU 55-21, earning Utah a shot at the Fiesta Bowl as the first team from a non-BCS conference to play in a BCS Bowl game. The 2006 edition of the game may be the most memorable in the rivalry and may have one of the best plays in BYU's history. 
QB John Beck led his team from their own 25-yard line to Utah's 12 with just three seconds left. Beck hit Johnny Harline for the game-winning TD as time expired 33-31. Harline was kneeling in the end zone as the ball came down, and you may still be able to find a t-shirt in Utah reading, Harline still open. An undefeated Utah team met BYU in 2008. The Utah intercepted QB Max Hall five times, punching their second ticket to the BCS in four years with a 48-24 win. Utah would upset Alabama in the Sugar Bowl and finished the year number two in the AP poll. As of the end of the 2018 season, the last time BYU topped Utah was in 2009. The Cougars finished off a 10-2 regular season that year with a 26-23 win in overtime. Hall got revenge after his turnover-laden performance the previous year and led his team to victory. The 2010 edition came down to another field goal. With just seconds left, BYU set up for this 42-yard field goal from Matt Payne. Here's Mitch Payne, and it's blocked! It's blocked! Utah got back there, got a pull on it, and they will win the game! The block preserved Utah's 17-16 win. There was a hiatus, though, in the rivalry in 2014 and 15, but that was cut short as both teams met in the Las Vegas Bowl or the Holy War in Sin City. Less than eight minutes transpired in the game before Utah was up 35 to nothing, scoring five TDs on five BYU turnovers. BYU closed the game with 28 unanswered points, but it wasn't enough, losing 35-28. Utah has won the Holy War eight years in a row heading into 2019. Even with BYU's run of dominance in the middle of last century, Utah still holds a decided edge regardless of which school's record you follow. The Holy War has been extended to 2024, so these Utah rivals will continue to do battle and will continue to break down the best in college football on Stadium Rivals.